Before we get started, I want every single one of you right now, two seconds, drop a comment down below. Let me know a video idea, any content you'd want to see, questions or problems that you're having, and how you want to see that structured into my content. Flood my pipeline. I'm going to be kind of lining up a couple videos and I guess just I need more ideas. I want to know what you guys want to see. That way I can create the best possible content. But what's going on everyone, Hayden here coming back at you with a brand new video and in this one you already saw the title thumbnail, you know what we're going to be talking about and I got a little special thing. I'm going to be going through one of my old stores now. This is actually a store that I have sold, I'd say about two or three months ago, didn't hit much success with it and we'll explain why later in this video. Uh, but whoever bought it or the person who bought it, I do know who it is, uh, completely ruined it. So we're going to go through, kind of show how I restructure it, as well as a couple things you should change, add, remove, get rid of, build off of whatever when it comes to your Shopify store. So with that being said, let's jump inside of my computer. But don't forget, drop that comment. Let me know what kind of content you'd want to see and let's jump into my computer. Okay, so I'm pretty confident that a lot of you guys watching this right now already have your store set up. And if you don't, that's great. That's actually even better because now you're going to be aware of a lot of this stuff that we're about to go through before you even build it. So. I guess you're not going to waste time in that sense, but a lot of you who already have your stuff going, just kind of think about this stuff. Okay, go back. This is a lot of stuff that you obviously already have, but there's things you need to do to build off of it. The first thing that I see most people just mess up on, um, and I'm going to give you an example here when we go over to a, an old store of mine, uh, but it's the headline. Okay? And I don't mean the headline as in the main like text on the front of the, the main website homepage. I'm talking about the little banner up top, that little line where people often put you know, free shipping on orders over $50. I see a lot of people mess up on that. And actually, let's jump on over to the store I used to have. Again, I sold this. This is not my store at all anymore. They messed it up and they shouldn't have what they have on here. Okay. The store is woodshipit.com and I don't know why, but they put it up here. Okay. We're going to dive in depth on this store here in a second, but don't put the name up there. What? It's already a right here. It's already right above it up in like, you don't need it four times. You know, it doesn't look that good. So uh, just be careful with what you put up there. What, well, there's two different things that I would do. And always use an emoji at the front and the end of that. So, you know, one on each each end of it. But the thing that I would not put, first of all, is something like that or something that doesn't actually apply or add incentive. So I see a lot of people say, you know, for say 5% off, 10% off your first order. Nobody cares. They really don't. That's not enough incentive for someone to take action. So something like free shipping worldwide until December 22nd, something specific like that where it's a deadline or you can say something like free shipping on orders over $50, 75, 100, whatever you want to set that as. Okay. Um, or you could always say today, personally, I'd like to set a specific date and then just use Herify obviously on the back end on the product page, but we'll jump back to this here in a second. So that's the basic thing to be aware of. Uh, we're going to jump a little bit further in depth once you've already built your store right here, your product descriptions. This is something I see way too many people mess up on. And I'm confident that all of you have a description, at least I hope so in some way, but there is a right and wrong way to format that. And so if you go back over here or we go back over here, this, okay, they completely changed the layout and stuff. The store looks like crap, to be honest. I don't know if they're making money. Uh, I wasn't really able to make much money with the store just because I wasn't good at Facebook at the time. And the traffic I was pulling for this relationship niche on Instagram was bringing me like, I think it was 70 to 75% traffic from India. So that wasn't actually really good. And out of all that, I have thousands, maybe tens of thousands of visits. I had merely a couple sales. So a very disappointing amount. The conversion rate was just not there and that's due to location. So I couldn't make it work. I sold it, got rid of it. Um, for those of you who are curious, I sold it for like 600 bucks. So this right here, it's there, but it's basic. And I would not, first of all, have this layout of a website, but you guys can jump back on our videos and see exactly how we structured the descriptions, but you should have something in bold like this right here. Um, first of all, they should rephrase this like order today and get or, and receive free shipping or um, something about it being a best seller. Okay. Something like that, where it really stands out, put that in bold. And then under it, you can put any shipping information, keep the shipping information super light, say due to extremely high demand, shipping may be delayed five to nine days or whatever. So it gives, it gives you that grace period. So it really depends on if you're using e-packing or not, but this right here, this button's a little bit too fat for this layout. You can shorten it or make it smaller a little bit. Um, and I know he's using the app right here. As you see, I don't know if a lot of you use it or even know about it. There is an app that allows you to basically have all the reviews from AliExpress, the listings you have on there automatically imported and put on your store. So makes it look a lot more credible, but here's the problem. This has no reviews. So, now it's, it's weird. You, at this point, I'd rather not have it because if you have it and there's no reviews, now it looks like nobody buys it. So any, tr any sort of scarcity or just restocked, they're not going to believe that that's immediately voided because it means nothing. So I would definitely think about that. Uh, again, we're going to keep going through the storm, breaking it down, but descriptions are huge. Just be careful about how you're um, wording it, phrasing it and structuring it. 
I like to really have a hook. It's basically the same thing as ad copy, except it gets specific on the product. So hook them at the beginning, like the first sentence, same thing we do with ad copy for both Facebook and Instagram, but then go through and explain the product. You know, I'll break it up into two to three small paragraphs, like little chunks, and I'll really just talk about the product, you know, the quality, what it's made out of, just kind of get them interested, give them some background because people were raised to be smart consumers. So even though they can obviously see, where was it, we'll go back here, in the, in the picture, first of all, this one's a low quality picture, uh, they can see what it is. An iPhone case has a little heart on it, whatever. People just want to know more. They want to, they don't really care, but they just, they were, that's how they were raised. So, you know, it's a silicone shock proof, tried and tested case. One of our best selling items, you know, ever to, you know, tired of having your phone screen cracked, whatever. You can say a lot of different stuff, but it's, it's just interesting. It's definitely something to think about. Your descriptions are huge because that's what people are going to look at. They land on your site, they go to the picture, the price, then the description. So definitely make sure you're for, uh, structuring that the right way. But the next thing I want to talk about you guys, and this is something that honestly not a lot of people mess up on, but it's it's basically, I'm not going to say ruining your conversions or ruining your sales, but you're just leaving a lot of money on the table. And that is a pop-up. Now, there is a right and wrong way to do this. You can't just add a pop-up. I know the app Beaconing, which I'm sure some of you use. Oh, let me type it right. Beaconing has a, a limit in my opinion, okay? You can have, obviously I've went to this site, we can refresh here, there's no pop-up, okay, uh, they messed up. But when you land on the site, something pops up in the bottom left corner over here, uh, as well as the main page or whatever, it shows orders, but then it comes out on the right. You don't want too many pop-ups that immediately is registered in people's brain as spam, scam, whatever, you're just trying to get their money, and odds are they're gonna exit out. It just looks messy, unprofessional. So one simple pop-up right on the site, and you can't just say, join our email list for more information. Why would you want to get an email for more information? Information for what? You don't give a shit about their information. You just want whatever your product is. You want your silicone heart phone case, okay? You don't want to break your iPhone. So I think a lot of people just don't have that, and they even if they do, they're, you're leaving a lot of money on the table on back end with email marketing, which we're not even going to talk about in this video. But if you're not collecting that by offering a real value or a real incentive, you know, 20% off a code, get a. I actually have some people who have a wheel. You know, it's like get a chance to win. You know a free shirt, 20% off, 10% off, some little things like that where it's kind of fun. It's a game. So you can kind of structure it how you want, but if you don't have a pop-up, you're leaving a lot of, I'm going to say potential for the back end. You're leaving that off on the front end because a lot of people aren't going to buy. Obviously, you come to your site, but if they enter their email before they even got a chance to look at the site, well, you can win there because then you can bring it back on the back end. So that's kind of a couple main little things here, but let's dive into this site. I actually haven't even gone through this. I just thought of it today. I'm like, wait a minute. Can I go through one of my sites? I pulled up, I tried to type in the domain uh, for a few of my different ones and I had already closed them down or sold them. So they weren't available. This one was, thankfully, so we can go through and check it out. Um, I put this product on there. This was selling like crazy. Uh, he's still doing a buy one, get one free. So was I. Um, and again, you guys, for a buy one, get one free, I know I've made videos talking about it. I don't do it too, too much anymore. But for something like this, it's a complimentary product. You know, nobody wants two white iPhone cases, right? It's not... You know, you don't really need it unless you have two phones. So it has to be a complimentary product that goes together. Like for this, it's a relationship thing. You get one, you know, for you and then your girlfriend gets a free one or your boyfriend, whatever, okay? So you get one of each. So it's two completely separate things. Uh, this is good They have the Herify. Look, I I'm just gonna point out some stuff and be openly honest. I would get rid of this, like time-wise. Keep it in, but 13 hours and 26 minutes, that's not, are you, do you feel rushed right now? No, no, so it's like, I would change it to like 47 minutes or like an hour and 32, something really random. Uh, I know they have a decrease in quantity right there. And I would also make the add to cart button red. So it really depends too, because I know a lot of people talk about um, using scarcity and all this stuff, but that's not, it's not widespread. You can't use the right scarcity or you can't use, I'm gonna put this down for you. You can't use scarcity on everything. If you have every single product on your store 95% off or free plus shipping with a Herify countdown, we only have three left, oh my God, it doesn't look good, okay? And it's not special because then the sale is pretty much voided, it doesn't mean anything because everything's on sale. So I highly recommend that you go to your actual site, look at the prices, excuse me, look at the prices on this and see what's, because look at all this stuff, free, free, regular, regular, okay, so they have a decent ratio, but you only want the products you're actually marketing, you're in the field with right now, running campaigns, Instagram shoutouts, whatever, you only want those to be the products that are on sale. Because then when people go to the site and they just quickly browse the main page, okay, they see retail, 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 okay, and then they see the one product you're marketing, then it looks really special, okay? That's why you wanna have that, oh, they added a couple more products on here, 
and we can break this stuff down even more. I, again, I haven't looked at this. Look at this layout. This is so, so ugly, you guys. Please don't. If you're going to land on desktop and structured like this, like it should be a picture over here with a couple pictures underneath and then information to the right. Otherwise, you're making them scroll and it, oh my God, no site review. Why is it ending in 98? Come on, you guys. It has to end at 0.95. You could get away with 0.97 or 0.99. Uh, one thing too, the reason people do that, I know a lot of you guys don't think about it, but it makes perfect sense, is they put, they put it at 1399 because it's only a penny less than 14, but people subconsciously, they basically attach themselves to the first number. So if it's, let's say 1999 versus $20, people view $20 as more than 1999, even though they know deep down it's not. So it's kind of interesting, but that's why you see all this marketing stuff at, you know, only $97 or, you know, 1399, little stuff like that. Cause it just seems like less, you don't go up a whole dollar or a whole, you know, $10, whatever the case may be. So again, look, customer reviews zero. This, this doesn't look good at all. Get rid of Powered by Shopify, okay? For those of you who don't, I know a lot of people don't even talk about that. It's super simple, actually. You can go here, how to get rid of Powered by Shopify. You can go through, type this in on Google, check it out. Um, if it loads here, my Wi-Fi is being a little spotty. I actually left my laptop in my car last night, it like froze to death. So look, exactly. Find thing you wanna edit, click actions, edit code. You literally just get rid of where it says Powered by Super simple, you can definitely find a video on it. It will take you freaking 30 seconds to go through and do that. But it makes it look so much better because a lot of people, consumers are getting smarter, okay, at the end of the day. And people know what Shopify is and how it's structured. So if you take this off, then people don't necessarily know for a fact that it's Shopify. So it's just one of those little things you can do it will probably increase your conversions long term. Uh, but this site was completely ruined. Damn, I don't really care because I couldn't make it work, but come on. Like, you just gotta wreck it here. Like, look, even this too. It says it's on sale from $13.95. Let, let's, let's play this out as if we were a consumer. Add to cart, check out. I'm curious, just out of curiosity, how much is the shipping? I bet you it's right around $10. Blah, and you guys, the reason I'm doing this is because you saw that it was, um, what, $13.98 or whatever for the regular price. If they're charging $10 for shipping, it's not exactly like, I mean, I mean think about it. $10 for shipping, 14, not even $14 regularly. Oh, look at this, $6.95. So it's normally $13.98 or whatever. First of all, you don't want to switch the back end. So if, if they said 98, now they're saying 95, it's kind of weird. Um, it's good that they say secured shipping. I don't know about adding the one pair thing, but it's not. that's not really a discount, okay? Because you should normally, if this was my store, I would go to the product and I would say that this is normally $24.99. Ugh, and look at how ugly that photo is. That is such low quality. Okay, you guys, you need a high quality homepage. This looks like it was taken with the iPhone 3GS and sent to 30 email accounts before they put it on the site. Come on now. So like, I would normally, I would go through actually and say, what bracelet was that, is this one. I would say this is like $24.99, $32.99. Increase the perceived value. Again, you control that value gap and then you can drop it so that the price it makes it look like a bigger sale. So whatever, just kind of something to think about. You guys, that is an old store of mine. I don't use it anymore. Um, my we're gonna go with old store <laughs> but yeah so that's definitely something to think about a couple different things just make your your site good i try and say don't overthink it don't overcomplicate it if you haven't started yet you should have your site completely done product research everything set up good to go and start marketing inside of three to seven days i don't want to make it take more than a week right now i could bang that out in a day if i already have the products and stuff lined up i could probably get a site built within 45 minutes so you're gonna get better at it, you're gonna get faster, but try and get things going as fast as possible because you're never gonna make it perfect, okay? It, the only way it's gonna become perfect is by trying, failing, spending money, testing, and seeing how the audience reacts to it, which you can only do if you have a website that's functional. So go make your website, don't try and make it perfect. Make it look good, obviously, you guys. Just, just do this, but the opposite, like what you see here, flip that upside down, and then you're good, right? You'll make money, that's it, simple as that. No, but so yeah. Again, you guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. I'm going to be putting together a lot of content here. Coming at you with the daily uploads. The YouTube channel's popping. I appreciate all the love and support. Uh, actually, we took a fat L yesterday. For those of you who saw the video within like the first hour and a half, I literally uploaded the wrong thumbnail and title for the video. And it was interesting. I'm, I'm happy that I did because a lot of people said some not so nice things in the comments. So led to about five to 10 people getting blocked. So I guess that's a good exposure to see who people really are. So like Gary Vee says something like that. He says, you know, you should, you know, misspell something in a thumbnail or a title or 
a post on Instagram and see who comments and calls you an idiot or retard, whatever. So, yeah, I don't know. For those of you who commented, something nice saying, oh man, hey, I think you changed it. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the love and support on every video. If you got any value at all, drop a like. Let me know if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. Drop that comment and subscribe to the channel. We've blown past 19K, which is insane. Uh, let's see if we can do 25 by the end of this month. I appreciate you watching this content every single day, and I'm going to see you tomorrow in the next one. Peace.